Hi, I'm Patty Baumgartner. Today I'm going to show you how to apply EEG electrodes using Weaver products, 1020 conductive paste and new prep skin prep gel. Here I have my supplies laid out and ready for the patient. I have electrodes, hair clips, a skin marking pencil, cotton swabs, a measuring tape with centimeter markings, a tongue blade, and I use a pumice cup. I also have cut gauze squares to a postage stamp size, and here I have some tape already cut for the electrodes that will be placed on skin where there's no hair. The patient's head has been measured and marked in the usual 1020 fashion. As you see, I've already placed a few electrodes. On this side, I have parted the patient's hair so that I can see more than one electrode position at a time. Then I put about a heaping tablespoon of 1020 on the back of my non-dominant hand and placed the pumice cup between my thumb and index finger on the same hand. Now it's time to put on the electrodes. I use both ends of a cotton swab. I dip the soft end of the swab into the new prep and I put just a tiny dab of 1020 on the other end. Working between my fingers, I can see the red crayon mark. Rub with the new prep. Three or four little circles will do. Then twirl off a little dab of the 1020 paste. This is not enough to hold the electrode on, it's just enough to mark the spot. Once you've completed a series of spots, you are ready to apply the electrode. You want to fill the cup just full with the 1020 paste. Don't overfill it. It should be flat on the bottom. Place the electrode on the spot and give it a little push. Don't worry if a little paste comes squirting out the hole in the top of the electrode. We'll use that to hold the electrode on. Put one of your gauze squares on top and give it a little tap. That's all there is to it. Now let me show you a way to apply electrodes A1 and A2. If you place the electrode so that the tail is pointing down, the wire electrode is heavy and it will pull it off. If you put the electrode on so that the wire goes up and over the top of the patient's head, that will help hold it on. Prep the skin on the ear with new prep. Fill the electrode cup with the 1020 paste so it's level. Using the tape, place the electrode just so. Wrap the tape around the ear to help hold it on and keep it firmly in place. Now let's take a look at those electrodes that are not in the hair but are on bare skin. The forehead is an example, but this also applies to patients with bald spots on their scalp. FP1, FP2, and any other positions where there's no hair, skin prep and application are the same. This works fine for bald patients. The only difference is if the tape is used to cover the electrode rather than a gauze square. Here's a question we get asked, how much pressure should I use when applying new prep? When you're using the new prep, press about as hard as you would if you were filing your fingernails. Then just put a little dab of paste on the spot. This marks the area so that you can turn away and not lose your place as you do the next phase. Using too much 1020 conductive can cause problems. Here's an example. If you use too much 1020 paste and overfill the cup, you'll spread the paste in a large diameter. The 1020 paste that spreads out acts as if it were the edge of the electrode, especially when you press the gauze onto it. This makes the inner electrode space smaller and can cause the EEG to appear asymmetrical. So use only the amount of 1020 paste that fills the cup. Use just enough new prep to moisten and color the cotton swab. If you use too much new prep and try to rub it in, it makes the area where you're trying to put the electrode slick and the electrode won't stay in place. When you push, the electrode slides and changes the position of the electrode. Let us know if this video has been helpful. We love hearing from you. This is Patty Baumgartner for Weaver and & Company, and thanks for watching.